Hi guys, how you doing? This is Q coming to you from DIY Genesis. And today's tutorial, I really want to talk to you about how to take your live site and bring it local. So you may ask yourself, well, why would I want to do that Q? Well, one of the things that you really want to, to do that for is to test upgrades, to test out customizations, to test out new plugins. And we've even seen lately that even when people are doing the new 5.6 update on WordPress and and doing those upgrades, it's, it, add, it, it has caused a few um, anomalies with their live site and they're trying to fix it while the site is live. Well, one of the ways to avoid that is to bring your site local and then once it's local, you can do all those updates and changes and then see what it does locally. And that way, if it crashes the local site, no big deal, no harm, no foul, go back, rebuild it, and then keep moving and that way you know what the pitfalls might be before you actually take that site from local to live so what we want to do first and foremost is grab a copy of your live site bring that local and so whenever you want to sandbox and play around with new designs or play around with new plugins or play around with updates in WordPress and Genesis and all of that you can do it locally and test it and fully vet out what you want to have on your local environment and how it would actually demonstrate itself in a live production environment before you ever actually launch that site live. So that's the reason why you really want to have a local version of your live site. So how do we go about doing it? Well, first thing we do, and I love this tool and I wanna spin this tool up, um, and actually it's already running here, is local. It's an actual tool called local, beautiful tool, uh, you can easily go and download it. I have some other tutorials that talk about how to download, how to install this tool. Really easy tool, beautiful tool for running a local version of your live site. So what we need to do from here is we're going to go to my hosting provider. I like to use Media Temple. I've been with Media Temple for a number of years now. And what you want to do is you, you find whatever the site is but you want to capture a backup of the database, right? So some hosting providers just give you straight PHP my admin, uh, my admin access. Here, you're going to go to PHP my admin. You're going to log in. And once you get there, what you're going to do is you're going to have your database. You're going to select it and you're going to do export. And when you get to export, you'll do the quick one. If, if you need to do custom, you you can do that. You're going to hit go. And then it's going to you know, download your, your entire WordPress database to whatever location you want to put it in. So in this case, um, my client here, Hunter for Nail House, I've already downloaded their database to the desktop, so I'm not going to do it again, but I wanted to show you what needs to be done. So once you've gotten that backup, great. Now we can leave PHP my admin and we can log out of this structure here and it can log out of our web hosting. So whoever you're hosting with, you log out of that account now, you're good to go. Okay, so we're good there. And now the next thing you wanna do is have an FTP client. I like to use FileZilla. FileZilla is again, one of, one of my favorite tools to use for FTP, uh, which stands for File Transfer uh, Protocol. So you log into the FTP for that site. And in this case, Hunter for Nell House, uh, hit connect. And you're gonna sign in. And in, in my case here, I'm, I'm looking into domains. And then I can see the Hunter for Nell House.com is there. And I wanna open that up. I'm gonna go into the HTML folder. Once I get to the HTML folder, what you want to drag to your desktop is WP content, not anything else, just WP content. That's the only thing you want to bring to your desktop. So don't grab the entire thing here. You don't need all that. All you need is WP content. And you bring that over and you drop it in. Um, I've also uh, taken the liberty of uh, putting a folder. And as you can see, I've already done WP content in here. I've already got the backup database in there. All right. So then now that's done. We're, we'll log out of FileZilla or whatever your FTP client is. And then we go to our... In my case, I'm on a Mac, so I go to Finder, and I created a compressed version of this so that you can see what that looks like. So you can take this file, obviously, in, in, in Mac, and you can just hit Compress, 
in Windows, there's a, a, also, I believe, a way to zip a file. And so basically you create this zip file of that folder. Perfect, once that's done, then the next thing we wanna do is go to local. And then you wanna try to bring up this on top of it so that what you're gonna do is from here, see it says drop to import. As soon as you drag it over that local uh, IDE, um, that interface, just drop it and you let it go. You name it. Um, in this case, um, I'm gonna call it uh, old because it's the old site or you can do original um, and maybe I'll just do ORG, original and hit continue. And you're gonna do your preferred setup here, preferred or custom. If you have per per custom setups, then you can set those up how you want to, preferred, then you hit import site. And then it's gonna run off and it's gonna do all this wonderful stuff for you. It's gonna import, extract it, it's gonna install WordPress. Uh, it's gonna do everything you need it to do. And once it's done, you'll be able to see it now. And then you'll have to fill in your credentials here. So I'll fill in my credentials. This is adding WordPress now. Um, it's finishing up all of that. It's importing the database, changing the site domain. It's getting all of that stuff set up. Okay, now it says it's been added. And so you can click the view to site. And so when I click the view to site, voila, this is exactly what the live site looks like. So if we go to, um, just to show you, if we go to hunterfornellhouse.com, I can show you that the existing site, the live site, there it is. This is the live site that's on the live production site. This is the local. This is the same site right here that you're watching and looking at. They're both, um, they're both the same. So this is the local. This is the live site, and this is local. So I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you guys. I hope this has been informative and help you to seek how you can kind of avoid some of the pitfalls that can come along with um, doing upstate updates and installs. Maybe you want to do a new WordPress install or a new uh, Genesis uh, child theme install. You can do all that stuff lo local, customize local, and then be done with it and not crash your main site. So again, guys, thank you so much for coming and visiting our channel today. I hope this information was helpful to you. And then, of course, please like, please share, please hit that notification bell so you can get notified every single time that we bring out new content. And also make sure that you subscribe to our channel. And also just be, please be sure to uh, leave a comment below and let us know if there's new content that you want to see. And until next time, guys, this is Q coming to you from DIY Genesis.